Dirty old town, dirty old town. Hey, welcome to the Man Cave here at Wistful Vistas, located in beautiful suburban San Diego, California, and outside it is a gorgeous day. Why aren't I writing? <laughs> Always ask myself that, or being outside in general doing something. But uh, got some modifications to do to our 2021 uh, Tuono. Modifications, add-ons, changes, you decide whatever the particular term is that you prefer, but you and I are gonna work together to do it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is install some side uh, tank protectors from R&G. Now, I did not put these on my uh, 17. No particular reason why I did, no particular reason why I didn't, but uh, I think these uh, will look pretty nice. These are pretty grippy. They're made out of a, a black uh, kind of an absorbent material, and they are supposedly just made for the 2021. I got them from AF1 Racing. I'm not sure, will that focus? Yeah, hope it does. And then you can read the barcode, etc. cetera. Uh, got these from AF1 Racing. We're gonna put them on the bike. You wanna go along with me? Maybe we can all learn something. Okay, phase one is us putting the uh, bike on the bike stand. Let's get to it. Before putting the bike up on the bike stand, I always use my official two by four chunk of leveling wood. Helps uh, to take some of the scare out of lifting the bike up on the stand. So we tilt it up and just put, oopsie, just put that two by four. Keeps the bike more level. Make it, it'll make it a little easier to get the bike stand on there. And now that the bike is more level, it's a lot easier to get your uh, two sides of the uh, bike lift uh, evenly placed. Without leveling up, you've got a gap there. It makes it a little more scary to lift it up. So. Having said that, we're just gonna lift her right up in the air. Here we go. <clears throat> as easy as that. And what's nice about this particular bike stand is it'll maneuver uh, sideways and back and forth. It is called a con stand. I'll put the description down in the comments. But the bike's up, she's stable, so let's get on to the next phase and work on those little add-ons we're going to do on the machine here. Highly recommended that 2x4 just to level the bike out. Takes a lot of the scariness out of that bike stand. Okay, next phase. Next phase, RNG tank traction grips, they call them. Here they are. It, uh, for the 21, has a nice little cutout slot there. I hope you can see that to match with the uh, little flash of red paint. You get a couple of, uh, in the box, you get a couple of nice stickers. Can't ever have too many of those. And an RNG alcohol wipe pad. Now, if you've been taking care of your bike, you've probably been putting some wax down and some products there to keep it shiny. And the situation with that is that can interfere with the uh, adhesive. So we're gonna wipe down this side. We're gonna start on this side and um, get this installed. Let's see if I can bring you around just a little bit here and uh, show you this little very nice looking red flashing along the side of the bike. And uh, this is just cut out to match it. Okay, alcohol prep pad uh, work done. I'm gonna let that dry off a little bit. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to start the application at the top and work my way forward. There's no science to this, really. There's just uh, taking a little time and being careful. Okay, I've got the paper started to be uh, peeled back from the tank grip. And that's going to allow me to start. Pardon me while I pay some attention here. Okay, not sure how well this is going to show up on the uh, on the video because it's black against black and that's hard to make out the uh, differences there. But she's on 
and uh, protected and ought to be okay to ride on. Uh, note to anybody doing this, it, uh, it's a little hard to make the tank grip run up against the curve of the tank. You've got a little bit of a uh, concave scallop in the tank through there and I had to uh, start and restart the tank grip there. But she's on, we're done. They uh, want you to let that sit overnight before you take it out and ride it. We're certainly gonna do that because it is night while I'm finishing this job up. <clears throat> Doesn't look too bad, feels very grippy. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. You don't need to see that, but you do need to see me. Hey, <laughs> that's it, tank grips installed. Okay, a little something I forgot to mention with the RNG, they give you two little RNG stickers uh, to install in these eyelets. Uh, they've provided on the tank protectors. Um, I don't know, I'm of two minds about that. I mean, you're advertising RNG. They uh, give you that little cut out there. There is no option not to get them. Tell me what you think. Okay, comments below, please. Should I do, should I use the RNG sticker or not? Your comments below, please. As of now, I will not be putting them on.